Hello, my name is Bernardo. Welcome to your great life TV.com. Today's episode is how to use the depth of your love to shine more brightly to those around you. And specifically today, I want to touch on the difference between loving people in your own unique way and loving people in the way that people like to be loved because it's different. One is simply you just being yourself and allowing the love of life to flow through you. The other one takes a little more work. It takes for you to realize and notice and, and play into what other people like to receive and be able to give it in such a way that they really feel it. So one way that can hone your skills in order for you to do this at a deeper and deeper level each time, and by no means am I saying that I'm a master at this, but this is something that I'm consistently working on right now, is in making yourself feel the full gamma of emotions that you create in others, whether it's a great situation or a joyful or grateful one, or whether it's a painful or hurtful one. So whenever you end an encounter and you create a powerful moment in the other person, Allow yourself to reverse roles and see yourself outside of yourself and get to feel the results of the words that this person, which is you, just spoke to you. <laughs> and when you create pain or suffering or when you're harsh with someone, after the experience is done, ideally you can do it in the experience, it's going to limit it tremendously. But if you can't do it during the experience, once you finish the experience, allow yourself to feel the depth of the pain that you caused in someone as if someone were causing it to you and that someone is yourself. So uh, that's a simple exercise and it doesn't require anything more than maybe 30 to 60 seconds once you finish an experience, but I can guarantee you that if you pull it off, your life will be enhanced dramatically for the following reasons. Number one, because you'll be 20 times less likely to hurt someone else when you know you're going to have to experience it once you finish doing it. Number two, you're going to be a lot more likely to create amazing moments in people when you know that, number one, the gift is a reward, <laughs> right? You can't give something to someone without feeling it. So that's a given. But two, when you finish the situation, you're going to allow yourself to feel the depth of that love that you just gave as if you were the other person. And that is a gift you can take with you no matter where you go. So thank you so much for allowing me to share this with you. I want to challenge you today to try this out. Try it once in the next two or three days. I know you'll have an experience that will allow you to either share the depth of your powerful love or the depth of your hurt with someone else. Turn tables around. Don't think about it. Don't think about putting yourself in the other person's shoes. Put yourself in the other person's shoes at the heart level. And that will shift the way you work, the way you love, and the depth of the light that you shine in the world. Thank you so much, and I challenge you as always to live a full and conscious life.